Oh my god, you're beautiful. I was gonna tell myself I wasn't gonna cry. I'm gonna ball it all out. You're so beautiful. You look so handsome. Thank you. I'm crying. They told me I couldn't kiss you. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it trumps normal relationships. It becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. I remember the day that Denton told me that this is how he felt for my beautiful cousin Claire. We were on our annual family lake trip when Denton showed me a picture of the ring. Denton told me that he loved Claire with all of his heart and was going to ask her to marry him. As a third party spectator to their developing love, it was extremely clear that the two of them represent a perfect pairing because each of them complements the other so well. They balance one another. And while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together, they're even better. Together, as a team, as a unit, as partners in crime, is what many years in the making ultimately leads us to being here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of those that they love most. It's not just anyone who you can have communication with simply a look or know their desired Chipotle order by the crazed, hungry look in her eyes. Not just anyone will wake up to go hunting in the middle of the freezing night to sit silently by the other for hours, or follow the other around constantly with a camera to film horses all day. But it's all of these personal experiences with Clarendon that highlight the quality of their love. So, without further ado, the vows. Claire and Denton have chosen to use the very same vows that her mother and father, Matt and Casey, did. The parents of these two did an amazing job. Claire, from this day on, do you choose to be Denton's partner? Do you promise to be honest, respectful, and remain forever faithful? to honor his differences and enjoy your similarities, and to listen, not just hear, and to be with him always, no matter what life brings? Do you promise to laugh with him and rejoice in the good times, to hold his hand and support him in the bad, and to share with him all that you have and all that you are? Do you promise to love him each and every day with an open mind, an open heart and continue to grow in love? I do. Denton, from this day on, do you choose to be Claire's partner? Do you promise to be honest, respectful, remain forever faithful, to honor her differences and enjoy your similarities, to listen and not just hear, and to be with her always no matter what life brings? Do you promise to laugh with her and rejoice in the good times, to hold her hand and support her in the bad, and to share with her all that you have and all that you are? Do you promise to love her every day with an open mind and an 
open heart and continue to grow in love. To have a beautiful relationship, it will take a lot of work and even more love. Continue to date each other. Take time to show one another that your love and marriage grow stronger every second. Trust and know that you truly want what is best for the other. Promise to be open and honest and learn to grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both have pledged today. Claire and Denton, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitments and promises you have just made. You have kissed hundreds of times, maybe more. But today the feeling is new. No simply partners and best friends. You are becoming husband and wife. Today your kiss is a promise. It is with this in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife. Denton, you may kiss your beautiful bride. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Denton Ellison.